Hey there viewers and welcome to my next project. And it's not just any game, it is the most requested Let's Play on my channel. A game that I've had to turn down on multiple occasions due to one rule that I always enforce. That rule being that I will never do an LP of a game that is not blind. However, due to a recent challenge, I am now finding myself making an exception to that rule for this one and only time for this classic from Naughty Dog. That's right, we are doing Jack and Dexter and the Precursor Legacy. And you know, as nice as the PS2 version of this game is, I think if we're going to be doing it, we should be doing it right, which means the HD Collection version of the game. And I would like to make three things clear right off the bat. One, I am only doing Jack and Dexter, I am not doing Jack 2 or 3. B, it has been eight years since I last played this game, so even though it is not a blind playthrough, it is as close as you can get to one. And three, yes, this will be a 100% playthrough. So with that, let us begin Jack and Dexter. New game. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Wow! 
What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. What, old man? Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it, if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! before I turn you both into ferns. Wow, I honestly forgot how long that cutscene was, but not to contradict the wise old sage as he is, but we just made it off of Misty Island. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. But yeah, seeing as how we just made it off of Misty Island, I don't think we technically need this training. Ah, oh, inverted controls. Please tell me there's a way to change this. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Please tell me I can change this. Oh, thank you, God. Well, they say flip, but in reality, it's normal mode. Much better. Thank you, game. Before we go up there, let's ex actually explore the beach, just on the off chance that there's more of these little precursor orbs down here. Wait, I'm sure there's a run button, isn't there? Oh no, that's first person. Well, I guess rolling is our best bet for quick travel. Alright. And then there's that. Ground pound, and why is the double jump not really working as it should? It's like only working half the time. Odd. Oh well. Might just be my controller, it's not really the best. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. The most important precursor artifact, and it's just sitting around. Now, you would think that the wise old sage would actually come through here, pick it up, and try and sell it off. Ah, uh, auto-save. Why is the double jump not working? I mean... Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air, and then dive down onto it, hands first. Yeah, these guys don't actually give you anything, so there's no real point That's to fighting them. Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Yeah, well, let's hold off on the power up. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Hmm. 
Mm. It seems like if I'm moving at the time I'm doing the double jump, it's not really as effective. Odd. Oh, there we go. Didn't know I had seven already. Nicely clustered. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Kind of convenient that it's always the last one you pick up that has that power cell. Yeah, and this thing kind of acts as a bit of a magnet. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Slip and slide. Crap, I need to go back there and do that again for this door, don't I? This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. You do tend to slide a bit when you're using the blue eco. It's like you got roller skates on. Let's try that one again. Start from back here, that way I can get them all. And have a full charge by the time I get to the door. And I did see a path down there that I might want to take in a second. Get up there faster. Haha, I made it. And a couple more precursor orbs. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. T okay, so technically I didn't have to rush it with that. I could have just walked over here and opened the door. Oh well. I always try and challenge myself. But I did want to go down here because I did see a branching path and there might just be some uh, orbs. Indeed there are. Good thing I came down here though. Because like I said, I will be 100% this game, which means I'm collecting all of the orbs and all of the batteries. Now, technically, you don't have to collect all the orbs in order to get all the power cells in the game, but I'm 100%ing it. I might as well collect them all anyways. I mean, I'm a completionist. It'd be weird if I didn't collect them all. And plus, by doing this, I can get my second ever Platinum Trophy. The only other one being LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. And I don't like the fact that Double Jump's not working every time. Open the sesame. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. For a second there, I was scared that this is one of those games where the main character could not swim. Thought I was about to die there. Now, if memory serves me right, which it probably doesn't. I think there is... well, there might be two things right here. One, I think there's something inside that little hole right there, so I'm gonna see if I can get in there. Okay, now there's actually an invisible... no, there... yeah, there is an invisible wall. So, so much for that theory, and two, rule number 21 of all video games. Always check behind the waterfall, because there's nothing behind this one. Okay, wrong twice in a row. I might have to check this controller and switch it out, because if the double jump's not working that effectively... Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Oh yes, in this game you only have three hits before you're dead. And then you have to collect more of the green eco to restore your health. And making sure I wasn't missing another one up there. You can jump once! Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go, 100%, all of them. Okay, now the double jump's working more effectively. I guess they just waited, I just needed the prompt. Oh, that's really strange. Yeah, now I'm able to do it every single time. Don't know why it wasn't as reliable before. We need Blue Eco to charge this platform up! Well, how convenient. There's Blue Eco right here.
And that was all of them, right? Okay, there was only four. Alright, back through the gate we go. Through the Fa Gate. Not the Star Gate, we don't want to get sued. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My Don Green Eco Collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! 